What's going on guys, Matt Manduke here, and today I have for you uh, another drone flight, which is actually in Pendrick Town, New Jersey, and uh, seeing how you saw that time lapse before then, this is actually from where I was parked at, at the end of that time lapse, so you get the idea, and I wanted to kind of see what was going on here, because there was a little pond, and I wanted to see what was going on with that, and so I kind of followed it with the drone, but I also noticed that there was birds and you can see the shadow of the drone there which is kind of interesting to me and thought it was cool to follow it but like I said I noticed the birds and that kind of deterred me plus I didn't want to like run into the manhole here which uh, is kind of interesting I guess it's in the event because you're going to see in a second there's a river that runs through here and I guess it's in the event that the river overruns then it fills that ditch because like the whole area there is kind of a like for a pond so I'm thinking that the river gets too high that then it fills that rather than filling the farm that is on the other side of the, of the pond so it might be just some civil engineering going on but I thought that the river was probably the most interesting part of this so I actually followed the river quite a bit but you will also see the place where I hooked the trailer that I now have and going to see some of the other places that are in this industrial park in Pendrick Town, which uh, this is the rest of Pendrick Town apparently. Uh, I couldn't get all the way over to where uh, the first place I was sent was, which was not where I belonged, that's for damn sure. It was a, a tanker drop yard for you know, a local company that hauls, I think, oil, but I didn't actually talk to them about that. And it was weird because I was bobtail because it was a RC mission, which is a, a recon mission where, well, assignment, not really a mission, but they are kind of missions and their adventures all in themselves, they all are. So I, I do like the way the video looks in this case and I fly way out. At this point, I want to say at this furthest point, I was close to 4,000 feet away from where I was standing, which is pretty damn far and uh, especially for New Jersey because usually there's a lot of pine trees but you can see the trees and you can tell they're not pine trees they're all deciduous trees so that's fairly interesting and I'm not actually far from my sister's house now and uh, th that being I'm not very far from home now so it's kind of interesting to me to be in South Jersey but it's not like I picked up a load here I just picked up an empty trailer from where there used to be loads here and the load that I have in the morning is going to take me to Linden, New Jersey. And I don't know if I'm going to fly there or not. Probably not. Because I don't usually fly while I'm actually working. I fly when I have downtime. And, well, that's more or less what I'm doing right now. I had downtime. And so I flew because I was waiting for a load. And I sat there for an hour and they didn't give me one. So I figured, hey, they can wait for the, what, 10 minutes that I'm going to be flying. So, that yeah, that's what I did. I... I you know, checked it out and now we're getting back to the industrial park which uh, clearly the empty lots aren't all that interesting and I'm guessing they're going to turn them into farmland but they look like sand and sand is not good for farmland but I checked out this one reservoir here which was kind of interesting because it has like a path going to it which I don't, I don't know who goes in there or anything but I think it's all just overflow from the roads and the, the ind industrial park area and they're trying to make it into like marshland because they had to destroy marshland to build this industrial park and in order to uh, build it they probably had to turn other land into marshland so that's what you got here that's a pond but that is kind of marshland and I stay up high here so I can fly over these big distribution centers which I'm trying to get my bearings as to which one is the one where I hook the trailer but I do end up finding it I think it's interesting there's a walmart trailer there they must be loading it to go to a walmart dc and uh they they may as well just load one of mine to go there so uh, you know I'm, but this isn't even on the road that i am on this is how big the industrial park is they have several spurts off of it and it's pretty big considering where it is yes it is close to the delaware memorial bridge yes it is close to the walt whitman it really wasn't that far away i mean it was like 30 miles from Philadelphia so it's not that far away and then I see this water tower and the water tower I thought was actually higher than I was and I didn't want to go over it I could have but I didn't want to go over it so I just kind of 
which rolled around it like that and left it in the middle and I was actually getting into flying the drone because it's becoming kind of like a second nature kind of like driving the truck it's becoming but at that point I was like well you know the, the sun at the angle that it is it's creating uh, kind of odd light angles for the drone and I noticed that this distribution center has all solar panels on top of it I thought that was really cool and it doesn't look like they're done there but it I mean that they are huge and they should all have solar panels on top of them because that's a lot of energy and they use quite a bit of energy but I don't think they use that much energy realistically they could probably power all of their electric forklifts if they have all had electric forklifts which they don't a lot of them use gas and some of them kind of have to use gas because of the weight of the things they're putting in the trailers but then and, and lights and you know maybe some computers and whatnot but not too much they could power all of that with the solar panels on top and then probably still have an excess to sell back to the electric companies so it, it, I don't see why they're not doing that look at all that real estate that you could be doing that with and this one that I'm over now is actually where I got my trailer and that's why I'm looking around because I'm trying to find out like where I'm at with it and where that trailer was and that's why I'm looking back over there and it's interesting that they have trailers all over there I think this is the one yeah I'm pretty sure yeah cause no this isn't the one this is the five below that I'm over right now and then uh, I don't know what that flat one is I guess they're building a new one cause that's what it kind of looks like looks like they're building another uh, DC there of some sort and then this is the one that I actually got my trailer from and you're gonna see the other trailer that I could have grabbed which is a blue trailer I grabbed a white one because it was ideal you will see my white trailer even though we didn't start with that like I normally do and that was because I didn't start too far away from the truck and I didn't want the drone to flip out because I was facing the truck even though it does have sensors on the back that was complaining that I was within a foot of the truck but yeah that blue one right there which I think I zoom in yeah that blue one right there that's the other one that I could have taken and that empty spot there that's where I pulled from uh, so you know, it is what it is they were really tight in there you can see how tight they are they're they're within a foot of each other and then i zoom in on the guard shack there because that that guy was actually pretty cool he just let me come and go he didn't give me no crap about it and then there's that circle and i think i might even zoom in on that but if i don't it is what it is that circle is kind of a pain in the butt because they got little poles because they don't want you to run over the grass in the middle of it but then like trail truck and trailer will always run over them at this point i'm trying to get my bearings as to where the drone is and I want to make visual contact so I can bring it in all cinematically and whatnot and, and that's why I'm looking down and you know because I'm trying to get an idea how far up I am and you know where I'm at and I don't think I actually see the thing until I'm like over that pond but there I am in that uh, red shirt there next to the uh, Werner truck clearly it's a Werner truck because there's that white trailer that I was talking about and that well that's that's me at the end of the trailer there and I'm just like I said taking my time with bringing it in because I actually I, I did want to look in the pond and I think I did look in the pond and I might have looked into the other pond too to be honest I don't know but at this point I'm looking at the where that's kind of a valley there looking at the controller where it's saying like negative three feet and that's based on negative three feet from where I took off from so I can go down without running into the ground what my idea here with this pond was well I wanted to look at the pond I also wanted to get low enough where you could see the water moving from the drone and I did get to a point where I could see it from the truck but I'm not sure that I could see you can see the reflection of the drone oh yeah and that, then you can kind of see a little bit of the water moving and I pull it up a little bit because I don't want to run into any of the grass because if ran into the grass drone might crash drone crashes uh, and falls in the water and then I'm out of a drone even though I can go grab it I would still be out of the drone so I fly down here real quick because I want to see if there's water over here and yeah I take my time because I'm like oh yeah I'm at negative three feet and I don't want to run into the hill there so fly over to the other pond and it's not much of a pond in that one and I realized that when I get up there so then I'm like well it was kind of cool following 
wavy concrete and I, I think you guys might have thought it was kind of cool but this one's not all wavy like that one was this one's just straight and that, that was kind of disappointing to me so then I bring it around and this is where I start zooming in on myself so if you guys enjoy this and you want to see my other over the road drone flights and now time lapses you can check out that playlist there or if you want to see what I'm like when I'm angry you can check out that playlist there as always guys I want to thank you for watching I wouldn't do this without you I'll see all my friends in my next video and yeah I really drugged this one on so it is what it is thanks for watching guys